5, a Northeast Missouri man who found his family poisoned by carbon monoxide is speaking out. WGM's Blake Salmon is back from rural Monroe City tonight. He joins us in studio with more. Blake. Well, Dylan, first responders say a carbon monoxide leak is responsible for killing 69-year-old Peter Klassen and putting his wife Brenda and her 7-year-old grandson in the hospital. But Brenda's son Dana says if he hadn't stopped by to pick up his son, this already tragic situation could have been exponentially worse. Luckily, I got there when I did, or I probably would have lost my mom and my son. Dana Buckman says he walked into his mother's house on Saturday morning to find her, his stepfather, and his son all unconscious on the floor. I got my son out. First responders showed up, helped me get my mom out. My stepdad had already passed away. Fire officials say they're still investigating what caused the leak. They say the situation is a grim reminder of just how important carbon monoxide detectors are. They call it a silent killer because it puts you to sleep. It's odorless, colorless. There's, there's, there's no indications. Monroe City Fire Chief Rich Enix says even if you have one, it's important you replace it every five to seven years. It's a very low, it's a low cost compared to, compared to a life. That it's a lesson Buckman says he's well aware of with both his mother and his son home tonight. And he bounced right back. He, uh, First thing he told me when I got to finally see him, he said, I got to take a helicopter ride and you didn't. So that made me feel pretty good. Uh. And according to the National Safety Council, carbon monoxide poisoning kills more than 400 Americans each year and hospitalizes more than 4,000. Blake Salmon, WGEM News.